Legend has it that you use these to clean inside your ears. And it can be so tempting. I mean, look at them. It just seems so perfect. Here's the right way to care for your ears. The problem with these little things is they can push earwax deeper into your ear, which can result in impacted earwax, which is painful and sometimes difficult to remove. Trust me, it's happened to me. So what is the right way to clean your ears? Plot twist, for most people, you don't even need to clean inside your ears at all. Earwax is naturally regulating, so there should be no need to clean inside your ear canal. All that you really need is a damp washcloth. And just gently clean around the surface of your ear. You can find many different types of ear cleaning tools, but these are only meant for the entrance of the ear and not deep inside. Earwax removal drops are also an option, just be sure to use as directed. Another option is lavage or syringe, which are specifically designed to safely flush earwax. These specialty tools are designed to circulate water around your ear, not to shoot it directly inside. Whoa, whoa, look at that thing go. It may feel like an awkward wet willy, but it is effective. While these tools do work, your safest option is gonna be scheduling an annual cleaning with your doctor. Speaking of, I don't do that. Matches and stick lighters are convenient, but what if you don't have one? Here are some match alternatives. You can use a cotton swab as a tiny torch. Ooh, now I can light that candle. There we go. Candle lit. And if this wasn't weird enough for you, I got one more. Nobody likes a wet noodle, but what about a lit noodle? A noodle can hold a flame and give you extra extension. Petroleum jelly is the perfect fuel to get that flame to last a little longer. Now that's a true torch. Just be sure you have some water to quickly extinguish the flame. Problem solvers, just make sure if you're getting lit, you do it responsibly. If you have an annoying zipper that sticks, you don't have to put up with it. Here's a trick to get zippers to slide with ease. A lot of tension and friction can make those zippers hard to pull. So a little petroleum jelly can help loosen things up. And for an applicator, a cotton swab. You don't want a lot and you can wipe off the excess. Gently brush along the seam and the head of the zipper. And reapply as needed. Move that zipper back and forth to distribute that petroleum jelly to get things moving with ease. If you have a zipper that's covered in fabric, you can apply underneath to the exposed side. Oh, when a problem comes along, you must zip it. If you have electronics sitting around, chances are you may have some corrosion. A little acid and corrosion doesn't mean you have to throw it out. Here's how to clean up those battery compartments. If you're seeing a lot of acid and corrosion, make sure to wear gloves when removing the batteries. With a cotton swab, gently brush out any of that dry corrosion. Do this carefully so nothing flakes in your eyes or on your skin. To neutralize the acid and clean those terminals, just use white vinegar. And if life gives you lemons, that'll work too. A little goes a long way, just dip the tip in a little bit of the liquid and clean out the rest of it. And if you hear a little sizzle, that just means it's working. Use a dry end of a swab just to get rid of any extra moisture. Now just leave the compartment open, let it completely dry before inserting new batteries. To prevent corrosion, remove batteries from devices you don't use often. And just replace them when you need to use it next. Preventing a problem? No, I think that's a bright idea. When it comes to cleaning, electronics can often go neglected for far too long. Over time, dust and grime and bacteria can build up on your devices. Here's a simple method to quickly clean your tech. The trickiest part is getting into all those nooks and crannies. Oh yeah. Something's stuck in there for sure. One simple tool will do the job. A good old fashioned cotton swab. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Cleaning those cases, getting those buds cleaned, getting between those keys, and all those hard to reach places. Ooh, there's a lot in there. Just make sure those electronics are powered down before you clean. Just dip in a cap full of rubbing alcohol to really get rid of germs. Now things are getting really clean. Now that's some clean audio. It's a little filmmaking terminology for you. 
Thanks for watching Problem Solved. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.